Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how do we use GeoGebra to help students analyze slope in a basic linear equation. So our first step is that we want to define our variables m and b because I'm going to be using the slope intercept format. So I type in lowercase m equals 1, hit enter, and then lowercase b equals 1, and hit enter. Now I can enter y equals m space for multiplication, x plus b, and it'll understand that by m and b I'm referring to the two variables that I just defined. Now some nice things we can do here is first of all create sliders for each of these variables. So if I click this right here for b, notice it gives me this little slider. I'm going to drag it over here, and I'm going to edit the properties by clicking on the slider. Now there's lots of things that can change the interval and the increment. I'm going to focus mainly on, of course, color and all these other things here. But under basic, I think it's nice to show the label, include the name and the value, so students know which, or they know what the slider is actually changing. So if we look here, now it shows us this slider controls the value of B. And as you move the slider, you move right the line. We can do the same thing for the slope, and I would just drag it over here, and again, label that as the slope. Now I can also change the slope. Some other things that you want to add to this presentation to help students understand how this works, uh, that I think are nice, is to intersect your line with the y-axis. An easy way to do this is to type in intersect, and then you want to type the line that you're intersecting. Notice up here under dependent objects, it gives the name of your line as line A. So I'm going to intersect A with the Y axis and make the A capital an axis and it'll create that point. Now what you can do is create another point B, capital B equals 0, 0, the origin, and then create a segment, type in segment, from A to B or of course B to A. And I would click that segment, and you can see that it's being highlighted right here. And it's giving the length of that segment. So if I click on this, I'm going to change this a little bit by changing the color to, let's say, a blue, and making that line a little bit thicker. And again, what's nice about GeoGebra is that as you change this thickness right here, you can see the effect. You don't have to click OK and then see how it looks. You can see the, uh, the effect of your changes immediately. So now what this does is as I change the B value, notice the students can see, right, they can see that blue line. And what that helps them see, of course, is it highlights the fact that your y-intercept is just the distance from the origin, in a sense, and it's where, right, it's where the line crosses the y-axis. And this blue line helps you see those heights, that height change. Another feature, and I think one that's newer to GeoGebra, is the slope right here. And if you don't have the tool, you can click down here, and you'll see slope. You want to select the line, and you get this little slope bar right here. But of course, there's lots of options. So if you double-click this, and then go to ob Object Properties, of course you can change the color. But what's nice uh, under Style is that you can, can uh, you can actually control the size right, of the slope. So notice as this gets larger, you, the triangle here gets larger itself as I, as I enlarge the size, but that also shows right, the increment increasing. And if they have the slope at a really friendly level, a student might realize quickly what's happening. So if I have the slope is equal to 1, oops, let me close this, right, something nice and friendly like 1. What happens is I, I think one opportunity here for questioning and and thinking is that you can enlarge this or reduce it and ask why in this case are the numbers always the same in these triangles right and that might help them understand um, how slope can be written in different ways as different fractions and and it can be written as long as the relationship is proportional as they mess with the slider they can of course look at other things as well so here's one way to help use to help students understand the linear equation through geogebra thanks